Now do your photos sometimes look just too bright, but equally and annoyingly sometimes too dark? Well in this video I'm going to show you how to fix it using exposure compensation. Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. Welcome to my channel where I like to do photography tutorials. I share tips, tricks, do occasional gear reviews, all designed to help you get more from your digital camera. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. This video is about a camera feature called exposure compensation. This is a really cool feature that allows us to adjust our exposure, make our pictures brighter or darker. Of course, we can do this sort of thing when we edit our images, but really I like to try and get as good a picture in camera as possible. So using exposure compensation is one way to achieve this instead of relying on editing our images. Now before we get into it let me tell you to stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip. Now to get started I want to introduce you to your camera's light meter. Here it is down here. Also sometimes referred to as the camera's light evaluation meter. Now if you're already shooting in manual chances are you're familiar with this and you've seen it before but if you've only ever used the auto mode in your camera chances are you've actually never seen it before and that's because in auto your camera's doing all the work for you. It's making all the decisions and your camera actually thinks that you don't need to see the meter. Now, I think the meter is incredibly important because it basically gives you an opportunity to see how your picture is going to come out before you even take the picture. Now, if we start in the middle here, you'll see a zero marker. Now, here is what we want to aim for because here we've got a fairly balanced exposure. Over this side, you will see a plus marker. The further we move to the plus side, the brighter our image will be. Over here is often referred to as overexposure. Over this side, you'll see a minus sign. This is where you want to go if you want to make your picture darker. This is called underexposure. So when you're taking a picture, if you're not happy with the image and you say to yourself, right, I want my picture to be a bit brighter, we want to aim to move this way a bit. But equally, for a more darker, moody picture, sometimes you might want to go this way. The meter's pretty cool. So let me show you the camera's meter in action. We're going to look at a Canon camera first, followed by a Nikon camera. On the back of the Canon, hold the plus minus exposure button down, turn the dial on the top of the camera and you can easily change your exposure compensation. On the top of a Nikon camera, you find the exposure compensation alongside the dial. Hold the button down, turn the dial and you can very easily make an adjustment. Now it's important to note that the camera's light meter is incredibly sensitive and it's basing all of its calculations on wherever or whatever you're pointing your camera at. So make sure you point your camera at your subject. Now I know that seems like a really obvious thing to say, but here's where people sometimes go wrong. They point the camera at the subject, look through the viewfinder, and once I'm happy with my composition, I might look at the screen to balance my light meter. But because I'm now angling the camera downwards, the camera's light meter is now calculating based on the light down there rather than on my subject. So although it's great that we can see the light meter on the LCD screen, it's even better that we can see it in the viewfinder as well. That way I can keep the camera in this position pointing at the subject, I can see the light meter through here, it's all good. So now we know a bit more about the camera's meter, let's now take a look at the camera mode so it will allow us to not just see the meter but also of course take advantage of it. Now one way to go is full manual. Manual allows you to change anything on the camera but it is a bit more of an advanced feature and probably not for everybody and this video is aimed at beginners. So other options include aperture priority, shutter priority and P for program. Now this is the mode that we're going to use for the rest of the video. Program is P on the camera dial. In this mode, your camera's doing most of the work for you, so it's making all the key decisions. But unlike auto, you can make some adjustments, and of course, one of those things you can do is adjust your exposure compensation. Now, when using these modes, one thing I would definitely recommend is turning auto ISO off, and my choice is usually ISO 200. Now, once we've done that, we're ready to go. And yesterday evening, just before sundown, I took these cameras down to the local marina to put this to the test. Let me show you how it went. Starting with the Nikon camera, what's interesting in the program mode is initially you won't see the camera's light meter because the camera's balanced everything for us. Let's take picture number one. So with picture number one in the bag, we're now going to slightly overexpose our image. So we adjust the exposure compensation. 
you can clearly see the change in the camera's meter and also indicated on the bottom right of the screen let's take picture number two which of course will be a little bit brighter and for picture number three we're going to underexpose adjusting the exposure compensation again clearly shown on the LCD screen that the camera's making some changes and for picture number three of course it's going to be a little bit darker press the playback button and of course we can review our images And moving on to the Canon camera, once again in priority mode, the camera balances the light for us initially. So this is picture number one. And for the second picture, we want to slightly overexpose. So once again, holding down the AV, dialing to the right, you see the marker move on the screen. This second picture is going to be our overexposed brighter image. Now for picture number three, we want an underexposed image. So holding the button, dialing to the left this time. This is picture number three, and this one will be slightly underexposed. And of course, pressing the playback button means we can now review the images. Now let's take a look at the images, starting with the Canon camera working left to right. The first image is with the meter balanced. The image in the middle is slightly overexposed, and over to the right is our underexposed image. Next up, of course, is the Nikon camera. The first image on the left is with the meter balanced, in the middle, we are slightly overexposing and over to the right, we are slightly underexposing. Now, which of the images did you prefer? Did you agree with the camera and like the first image? Or maybe you preferred the overexposed or slightly darker underexposed image? I'd love to know. So tell me by leaving a comment down below. So as you can see, exposure compensation is a really cool feature that's found in most digital cameras and is just another way in which you can get more from your camera and take better photos. Okay, you've made it to the end of the video and I promised you a bonus tip for sticking around. So thanks for being here. My bonus tip is to do with taking photos with a smartphone. Now I love taking photos of my smartphone. Who doesn't? It's the camera that's always in my pocket. Now, did you know that you can adjust your exposure on your phone in a similar fashion to how we do with the bigger cameras? It's pretty easy. It's a cool tip. Let me show you how it works. So I'm using an iPhone. First thing I do is tap to focus, then move my finger up and down to adjust the exposure. Notice how it emphasizes the colors on the horizon. This is a really cool tip you can do on most smartphones. I hope you enjoy it. Now, if you're keen to learn more and you ever find yourself here in Brisbane, look up the Photo Genius website and join me for a photography course or workshop. Come and spend a day taking photos with me. We have a lot of fun. Of course, if you can't visit Brisbane, make sure you subscribe to this channel. New videos every single week. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. And don't forget, you can leave your comments, suggestions and questions down below. I hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya. Bye. Mm -hmm.